since sanskrit and tamil are separate languages did they develop separately in different parts of ancient india if so why did the chola kings use sanskrit later on the problem now is is that we don't really know about the origins of these of of india's languages there's very little research been that's been done there are hardly any high quality linguists in india at all the whatever few linguists we have are the, of the caliber of iravatan mahadevan who come up with theories out of a hat and then uh, you know so we don't have any research any real proper research being done on linguistics in india our historians do, have no idea when our languages developed how they developed in what form they developed what came before vedic sanskrit there must have been an older form of sanskrit proto sanskrit and and linguists talk about this proto indo european language which is something they have imagined out of their dreams there is no evidence any such language actually existed i think if there was a proto indo european language it must have been proto sanskrit pre vedic sanskrit so we don't know and what about tamil when did tamil evolve when did it originate we don't have the faintest clue and therefore we have this this contest that goes on between north within the people of tamil nadu and other people about which language is older the oldest known language in the world is vedic sanskrit by the way and there is no evidence tamil is anywhere close anywhere close to it there it it is a possibility that tamil may be similar in age as vedic sanskrit but we don't have any evidence of that it is actually even possible that languages like telugu may be older than sanskrit than tamil okay so tamil is not the the language that represents the whole of south india but we know that it's an ancient language it's, it's one of india's classical languages we don't know because there is no research about this so we don't know when these languages developed how old they are it is clear that there were many that india the indian subcontinent was a very complex environment there are clearly multiple languages language families that came out of this region we know from genetic data that the indian subcontinent is the original founder zone of the out of africa migration it is from india from the indian subcontinent that the entire rest of the world was populated so india is clearly the birthplace of all these ancient languages but we don't know when the seed of sanskrit was formed when the seed of tamil emerged we don't know these things so so i can't answer nobody can answer as of today right now why did the chola kings use sanskrit so like i have said many times sanskrit is india's civilizational language today's dravidian parties have have brainwashed the people of southern india especially tamil nadu into believing that there is a the aryan dravidian divide and uh, the ancient tamil culture was a secular culture a non hindu culture all that nonsense absolute nonsense absolute garbage absolute rubbish the cholas were tamil speaking people the chola dynasty is one of the longest reigning dynasties in known history it was in power for 1500 years 1500 years incredible isn't it and they even though they were tamil speakers when they conquered the entirety of southeast asia they propagated hinduism and sanskrit throughout these regions they did not propagate tamil we do have tamil in malaysia today we do have we do have tamil spoken in singapore today it is because of later tamil migrations during the british colonial era it is not because of the cholas look at the names of people in indonesia they have sanskrit names not tamil names look at the names of ancient cities and kingdoms in southeast asia the champa kingdom other kingdoms look at the names of their kings they are all indian hindu names sanskrit names right so throughout the indian subcontinent in ancient days they have we had the two language system everybody would learn their mother tongue and everybody would learn the civilizational language sanskrit and sanskrit always took precedence as the high language as the prestige language as the civilizational language as the language that bound the entire civilization together from balochistan and sindh all the way to the philippines it was one civilization it was one culture that that was practiced throughout this region 
and the glue that bound everything together what was what we call hinduism today and it was the sanskrit language and that's why the cholas used sanskrit and that's why they propagated sanskrit everywhere they conquered